Good afternoon and welcome to the 36th annual Wells Christmas Parade. We're Jim and Susan Kanak. We'll be your host for the parade today. The parade is made possible by the following sponsors. The primary event sponsor is Kennebunk Savings. Silver sponsors are Avita of Wells and DF Richard Energy. Bronze sponsors, the Wells Rotary Club. And friends of the parade include Coastal My Box, The Coach Cottage, Artworks and Gallery, Kenny Automotive, NetVision Technologies, Partners Bank, People's Choice Credit Union, Save Our Shores Maine, Southern Maine Healthcare, State Farm Insurance, Nancy Hafford, and T.C. Hafford Basement Systems. On behalf of the Wells Chamber of Commerce, I'd like to thank the sponsors, all the volunteers, and various town departments for their ongoing support of this event. The parade is kicked off by the Wells Police Department Honor Guard. Okay, and there we see the Wells Chamber banner leading the way. The annual Wells Christmas Parade is brought to you by the Wells Chamber of Commerce, along with the generosity of the following sponsors. Cattlebunk Savings is the primary event sponsor. Avita of Wells and DF Richard Energy are silver sponsors. The bronze sponsor is the Wells Rotary Club. And friends include Coastal My Box, Kenny Automotive, SOS Maine, Partners Bank, People Choice Credit Union, Southern Maine Healthcare, TC Hafford Basement Systems, State Farm Insurance, Nancy Hafford, NetVision Technology, and the Cottage Artworks and Galleries. That was uh, Ed T. Lander for Congress. Ed is running for Congressional Welcome. District Number One in Maine, and this is his first year in the parade. Good luck to good luck to him. Okay, we're moving right along. The judge's trolley has just pulled up. The trolley was graciously donated by Williams Realty Partner of Keller Williams Coastal Realty. The judges for the 2021 parade are Helen Shadlick, Peg Corbett, Lorraine Cullen, hey, you Carol here? Defino, Thank and you. Jamie Bart. Thank you very much. And here we have uh, Hello. Merry members. Merry Christmas. Thank, Thank you. you. Here we have members of the Wells Select Board uh, passing out goodies. Thank you to them. And now we have the Jim Dandies. The Jim Dandies Children's Circus is a school-based program from Scarborough. More than 4,000 students have been in Jim Dandy since it started in 1981. They have performed at hundreds of events around New England and ridden in national parades like the Washington Cherry Blossom Festival, Macy's Thanksgiving Day, and many others. They're skilled jugglers, but today they're going to be riding unicycles, and here they come. Wow! <coughs> I can't imagine the skill and balance that's required for this activity. Nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> They are a very talented group of young people, no question about it. Good job. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at that. Must take hours of practice to do this. I can't imagine. I don't even know how they get up on this. Right, things. I have enough trouble riding a two wheel bike. <laughs> Good job. They've been coming to this parade for many, many years, and they are truly a highlight. We look forward to them every year. And they continue. All right. Wow, they've got quite a show going on they here. They do. Very impressive. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. 
I love how they've decorated their unicycles. Yes, they're very, very festive. Talented young group of people. Wow, look at all that talent. Seriously. Very good. And now, we have an impressive group passing by now. Looks like members of our police department. Yes. Candy canes. Passing out Passing candy. out candy canes. That's the way to do it. Would you like a candy cane? Alrighty. Would you like candy canes? No, thank you. All right. <coughs> the Grand Marshal of this parade this year is Joanne Putnam, Chief of Police for the Town of Wells. Chief Putnam celebrated 35 years of service with the Wells Police Department this year. She was named Chief in 2008. In selecting the Grand Marshal for the parade every year, the Wells Chamber looks for someone who has a long-standing commitment to the Wells community. The Chamber wished to honor Joanne's years of dedication and support to both the town of Wells and the Wells Chamber organization. Joanne is riding with Eleanor Vadney, the Wells Chamber President and CEO. And here is a, an annual participant, very popular, Congdon's Donuts, Gary Leach, with his uh, animal friend, and a beautiful float with uh, happy, happy campers there on a Christmas tree and a park bench. It's a very happy group. A little baby there, too. Yeah, nicely decorated tree. Followed by the ever popular Congdon's Donut truck band. People are happy to see that pulling. Alright, moving right along. Next in line is the Lighthouse Church of the Nazarene. It has some marchers and a banner and some cars. So, welcome. And they're nicely decorated. It's, it's so good to see how uh, festive people get and how decorated yeah, they are. I love the lights around their neck. Very, very nice. Would you like a candy cane? Sure. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Stay warm. And now we have Girl Scout Troop number 1226 under Nicole Kazabinsky's direction. Lighthouse Church of the Nazarene. Yeah, we get the prize the, to be at the The crazy. float <laughs> contains Santa's little helpers who are, I'm told, Nancy Morell, Emily Morell, Ashley Morell, Nicole Kazabinsky, Katie Kazabinsky, Megan Kazabinsky, and Emily Dubay. Look at those costumes. Congratulations those. on a great float, girls. I love nice those boxes. Okay. Oh boy, look at this, Ralph and Sue Luby. They are driving an army truck and trailer float. This truck took a hundred hours for Ralph to decorate. It has 10, 75 10-inch 10 lighted bulbs, nine Christmas trees, 72 icicles, 24 Sienna's, 30 candy canes, two five-foot nutcrackers, plus other items. My goodness, is that spectacular. <laughs> Thank you Very for impressive. sharing that with us. <laughs> Very impressive. And they are followed by members of the Wells Rotary Club who put together quite a nice float for themselves, highlighting uh, the Rotary symbol. The Rotary is a great organization in town. They do a lot of wonderful community work. High School Marching Games. The band is under the direction of Chad Dickerson. This band played the national anthem at the beginning of the parade and has some wonderful holiday music for us to enjoy. Which went well.
busy band. I'm sure they were. Uh, oh! I'm sure they were at the Agunquit parade yesterday. And there, here comes Kennebunk Savings for the eighth year in a row. Kennebunk Savings is the primary event sponsor of the Christmas parade. Kennebunk Savings is a mutual savings bank founded in 1871 and still headquartered in the birthplace of Kennebunk. They proudly serve Southern Maine and Seacoast, New Hampshire, with 18 branch locations from Kennebunk to Durham, New Hampshire. They offer a complete menu of services from consumer and commercial banking to insurance and investments accounts. And here comes a float. You can recognize it, I'm sure. It's the Agunca Playhouse. The Agunca Playhouse has been in the parade for five years and provides wonderful artistic opportunities for members of the community. Love that replica. Yes, and they're being followed in line by the York County Sheriff's Office. William L. King, Jr. is the Sheriff of York County. And they have um, a very interesting looking canine support staff in the back seat. Uh, we thank them for all the great work they do around York County. Look at that cute dog. <laughs> and their car is very nicely decorated as well. Hey guys. Speaking okay. Of <coughs> With their float, the Grinch that stole Christmas, here is the Brown family. It took them five days to build this float, and they have been in the parade for 23 years. Thank you, thank you. Very creative. Great float. Very well done. <laughs> I love it. And here is the Miss Holly pageant, uh, led by Lisa Hartman. It's from New England Scholarship Pageants. And we see Vivian Courtway, who is Little Miss Holly. Brittany Chase is Miss Holly in the, in the back of the truck, I think. And Kitty Hilton is Miss Holly Teen, following along here in the SUV. Congratulations to all of them for a job well done. comes the Wells Dog Park Advisory Committee. The people involved in this are the Wells Dog Park Committee members and their neighbors from Sherwood Forest and of course their dogs. <laughs> it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a friends of the dog park without the dogs. They're giving out dog biscuits. Find us on Facebook. Good luck to you on the mission. What cute dogs. And there are a lot of, that's a worthwhile project. Uh, that there's, a, is. there's a lot of need for a nice park like that in town. And on the heels of all of these dogs is an antique 1957 Chevy Bel Air from Big Daddy's Ice Cream. Obviously, one of the more popular stops in town. Love the color. And it's a, it's a beautiful car. And next we have Main Street Property Management, which is a family-run real estate management company out here in Wells. They specialize in vacation rentals, year-round management, rental management, as well as home checks and property services. Having
trucks. They are out in force for the parade this year. It's very impressive. Everybody loves to see the fire trucks. Right. And then follow, following Wells is uh, the representation from the Agunca Fire and Rescue. They might have. Um, DF Richard is a silver sponsor of the Christmas Parade and has you covered for all your home and business heating and cooling needs. They deliver the highest quality propane gas, bio heat, oil, and kerosene. They offer expert technicians who install and service the latest brand name energy. <laughs> Wells EMS. State Farm Insurance Vehicle, Nancy Hafford. They've been involved in the parade for many, many years, and Nancy was really important in putting the parade together this year. Well, thanks to her and the great work that they do. And here comes T.C. Hafford, another friend of the parade. Thank you, they're serving soup. Um, Tony, T.C. Hafford, is famous for his tomato bisque and he made the soup that his helpers are passing out to help warm us up. So thank you, Tony, for that delicious soup. Giving out Happy tomato holidays. soup even as we speak. Do you guys want some tomato soup? Uh, we're working. We're working, thank you. And here is the van from Radio 97.9, 97.9, excuse me, playing Christmas music for us. And following them is Spring Village at Dover. Spring Village at Dover is an assisted living community that specializes in memory care located right outside of downtown Dover, New Hampshire. They take pride and care in the services they provide for their residents. Thank them. This is their first year participating and thank them for participating in our parade.
<laughs> Here come some model cars. One Antique of them. cars. Love them. Yes, there's another Bel Air. Bel Air is a popular car for this are, year's parade. One of them is uh, sponsored by Kenny Bunk Property Services and driven by Jared and Leslie Wrist. It's a 39 Studebaker, 36 Model A, Coupe 31. Nice looking cars. Great looking cars, no question. These, I believe, are from the main Coastal Cruisers Car Club. Oh, okay. Yep. We have a 60, 57 Chevy Bear Bel Air, a Trans Am, 1975 Pontiac Trans Am. A lot of people would love to see that. Take a ride in that. Excellent. And this looks like it might be the United States of America's main pageant. And Dr. Laura McKee, who will be representing Maine at the National Pageant in Las Vegas in February. Good luck to you. And here comes Kenny Automotive Towing and Recovery. It operates 24-7 for all roadside assistance. This is their first year in the So welcome. And they've got a little Grinch on the back of there. Absolutely. Grinch seems to be popular this year. And here, oh, and we're coming down to the, the pinnacle of, of the parade. The Wells of Gunkwood Youth Football and Cheering. The Junior High Football Team are the 2021 Southern Maine Youth Football Conference Champions. With us today are some of the players with the gold ball, along with the coaching staff, followed by the Rising Warriors, the K through 6th grade football players, and the cheerleaders. Congratulations on a job well done. And following this the most popular of everyone, yeah. Santa makes his annual appearance at the Wells Christmas Parade. kids and all the people that live in, in Maine and particularly in Wells. He's here today so maybe he's dropping off a lot of a lot of that now. Alright the judges and there go the judges having viewed the entire parade are now heading toward the finish line. The finish line at the junior high. And they look warm and snug and the end of the parade is being brought up by a couple of Wells police cruisers. As usual, this has been a great parade. Thank you for watching. We were happy to be here, and Merry Christmas to all. And a Happy New Year to everyone.